Stressed about how you're going to pay for college? The answer is right around the corner at Sussex County Community College. SCCC offers the best education value in the area. Learn why SCCC is a smart choice at our fall open house, Saturday, October 27th from 9.30 until noon. Meet our faculty and students, tour the campus, explore degree and career options available, and see how easy it is to transfer credits to a four-year college or university. We're close enough to take a look. See you at Open House on Saturday, October 27th. Visit sussex.edu slash open house. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Again, James Franco has done a terrific job running this offense. Out of the pistol, he'll keep it a lot of times. He can throw the ball, he's just a terrific athlete. Off the play action, looking for the deep pass. Wide open, Austin seems he catches it. He's at the 20, 10, touchdown, Kittatinny, wow. Out of the pistol, it's James Franco. The give is inside. Mafaro with the spin move, still on his feet. Mafaro breaks away from one tackler, and he's on his way. 40, 30, 20, 10, touchdown, Jacob Mafaro, and I don't see any flags. And we talked about how he can score from anywhere on the field. Second and 10, Stacy leads him up to the line. Motion, Coles, give us up the middle, and the ball pops out, that's recovered by Kittatinny. And that was James Franco, I believe, number four, the quarterback. Recovered the fumble. Wow. So first and 10 from the 30. Austin Seam split to the near sideline. Out of the pistol. Off the play action, looking for Seams again. He's open. And it's a touchdown, pitch and catch for 30 yards. Franco to Seams. Now Lacken goes to a fullback at 66. Franco keeps it, follows his center, Fahey, still on his feet. Franco refuses to go down. He's in for the touchdown. Wow! 10-yard touchdown run, James Franco, and he had about 10 of the 11 defenders from Lenny Valley were on his back, and he drags him in, and he scores. Patriots have yet to get a first down. Cole's in motion. Stacy rolls out, feels the pressure, he's sacked. Fahey in there, as well as Policy. Off the pass on the counter, taking off down the sidelines, over 22 Kaplan, and saving the tackle is Policy. Great play there by the Lenby Valley Patriots, Trey Kaplan. Ball popped out. <laughs> and Lenny Valley has a big play there, fumble recovery. They stopped Lenny Valley one time on fourth and short, and they do it again. 26 seconds to go, first quarter. And to give us to Kaplan, and he's gonna, second effort maybe? That's gonna be really close. Looks like he has it. But we'll see. And he does. Lenny Valley first and 10 at the Trey Kaplan got that first down. Ball out to 23. Stacy looking to throw. Cagno gets the pressure and gets him. Anthony Cagno, I don't know if that's going to be yeah, it's behind the line of scrimmage. That's a sack. Motion Tyler Sweat. And a bad exchange there. Does Lenny Valley have that ball? Who has it? Patriots have it, I believe, on the fumble. Coles came out with it, but with the injuries and everything else, a lot of sophomores have had to grow up quick and become varsity players. Stacy being one of them. Off the play action, has a wide open receiver. It's caught for the first down. Great catch there. Tommy Lentino. The Lenny Valley, second and nine from the Kansas City 14, deepest penetration of the night. Pressure coming, Stacy gets away from it. He throws it and it's caught. Great catch, but even a better job of escaping by Stacy and it's Gavin Coles. It would be a 55 yard drive if they do score. Stacy looking to throw, 
Intercepted by Mafaro. He could go all the way, folks. Look at him turn on the Jets. He's at the 50, the 40, 30. Touchdown, Kittatini, Jacob Mafaro. Oh my goodness, and there's no flags. Holy smokes. About a 95-yard touchdown return by Mafaro. Incredible. On fourth down, Franco out of the pistol. Motion Tyler Sweat. Franco with time. Looking for Sweat, and he makes the catch, and it's a touchdown, Kittatini. On fourth and three, Franco to Sweat. Touchdown, 34 yards. This week we are prepping for Lenape. We are working hard. We knew they were going to come out fighting, so we work, We were working well, and we got the win. We come out. We try to play hard as soon as we come out of the gate. You know, get up early. Uh, we think we play better when we're ahead. Uh, keep the pace on our terms. The beginning was rocky, you know, but we're starting to really click now. We're starting to really chug along, and it's awesome. It's a great feeling to actually have that confidence and do everything. Like, excellent. It was a great victory for us. We wanted to show who we are, that we don't just beat bad teams, we beat good teams too. I'm just happy for our kids. You know, they've been working towards this all year, and uh, I'm just thrilled to death for them. Great effort all the way around both sides of the football. Just really happy that they got the chance to come down here and do this tonight. Kittatinny came out fired up tonight. They hadn't won a game against Lenby Valley since 2007 when they won the old SCIL. And on their second play from scrimmage, James Franco goes up top, Big touchdown pass to Austin Seams, and right off the bat, it's 7-0. We usually run the ball first, so they were expecting that, so I just faked a stalk block and got open for James. All starts with a fake on that one. Jake, perfect fake, and no one saw it coming. He was wide open, just lofted it to him. After the 67-yard touchdown pass to Seams, Kid City got the ball back after a punt, and then Jacob Mafaro was just having a monster year. Takes it to the house from 78 yards, and all of a sudden, it's 14-0, and we're not even halfway through the first quarter. Well, we knew exactly what we were going to do when we came into this game, and we executed really well. So we got the two touchdowns in the beginning, and we started off strong. It was kind of like, even though it was 28 nothing, we hadn't done a whole lot in offense in the second quarter. And I kind of been, I was saying, we got to reestablish the offense. And then, uh, you know, uh, Robert Bruce got his hands up and made a, a difficult throw for the quarterback. And, and, you know, Jacob just tipped it, caught it, and ran it back all the way. It was an incredible play. That big lead was imperative. They scored 28 points in the first quarter, Kittatinny. Lenape Valley was driving in the second, looked like they might punch one in, and just an athletic play by Jacob Mafaro. He takes it back to the house from 96 yards. When they were pushing downfield, we were all getting nervous. I knew everyone was getting their heads down. I knew I had to come up with a, uh, a big play, and I was able to get that 96-yard interception for a touchdown, which was able to get us our motivation back together. So, Kittatinny has put up a lot of points this year, but their defense has done a great job as well. They get the shutout tonight. Well, our run uh, defense have been working really well. I, I have no doubt about it that we are number one in the league for our run defense. You know what, but we got to work on the passing situation, but that will all come and develop by itself. Kid City has a lot of offensive weapons, but they got a nice, strong, maybe undersized, but tough offensive line. John Fahey, one of those guys that helps anchor that line. Yeah, they really make our jobs easy, having a star like J Franco and Mafaro back there. It really makes our job easy. We just got to open a small hole and they'll take it for 90 yards. It doesn't get any easier for Kittatinny. They'll enjoy tonight, but then they got High Point next week, down the road, Newton, and a lot of things on the line for the Cougars. Their first division title since 2007, still in play, and getting back to the state tournament for the first time since 2015. We're coming for High Point, let me tell you that. We're coming for High Point, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to prepare. We're, we really want to make a run this year. That's been an emphasis since we started the season. Those two games are going to be really rough, you know, or tough. And we're going to prepare the best we can and get even more excited and more hyped up for those games and, you know, do our best and hopefully come out with a win. Take it week by week. Just keep doing the little mistakes. We get them better and we just keep going. Obviously, we're, we're playing with a lot of confidence right now, but, you know, they, you know we're not, you know, not going to fool ourselves here. we got two tough football games ahead of us in the next two weeks, you know, and obviously that's, you know, we're going to have to do something there and probably in order to make the playoffs. But the bottom line is uh, we are playing with confidence and, you know, We'll be ready to go next Saturday.